Hi, I'm Michael Sansolo, and welcome to Shopping with Michael. There was a time when a fully cooked meal from the supermarket meant rotisserie chicken, and that was at the best. But it's all changed. Now many stores offer a wide variety of items at a quality that rivals restaurants and even what we can make at home. Likewise, in many stores, the traditional deli now goes way beyond just cold cuts and cheeses. Today, we can find high-quality prepared items, entrees and side dishes, which we can take home, heat, and eat. So we'll be right back with all of these stories in one minute. Rich people know all about quality. They spend lots of money to get it. But you don't have to be rich to get the quality you want in your everyday shopping. That's because store brands from your favorite supermarket, drug chain, or mass merchandiser give you comparable ingredients, taste, and performance at prices that beat the national brands all the time. Of course, you have to be a smart shopper. Try the store brands, use them at home, compare products and results. And of course, enjoy the savings. Maybe that's why so many rich people buy store brands too. Store brands, the smart way to get quality. Welcome back. When it's mealtime, shoppers have a challenge. They say they want to eat healthier and you know, I think they mean it. And most of us believe that home-cooked meals are the way to go to have a healthier diet. But for many of us, there's a problem. We lack the time. In some cases, we lack the desire. And we even may lack the know-how to do all of our cooking from home. This is pretty much why we eat the way we do these days. In fact, Americans spend as much or more money eating out as we do on cooking meals at home. Well, the supermarket has responded to this, in part because of consumer needs and in part because they want your business. Today, there are all kinds of options in the store, from fully prepared meals to partially prepared, where you do some of the work, to the times you want to cook from scratch. It's good business for the store, and it offers you convenience and choice. What's different today is that there are more cuisines with more types of foods than we've ever had before as prepared foods in the supermarket. For instance, there are Asian foods, and now we're not just talking Japanese and Chinese. You can find Thai or Indian, loads of new flavors and tastes for us to try, and the store is making it for us. Sushi, which at one point was actually exotic, is now standard. You can find it in virtually any supermarket, and it's a quick grab-and-go meal. There are Latin foods, and I'm not just talking about tacos, but far more authentic foods, bringing us some of the really interesting dishes from Central and South America. Even American standards have changed. It used to be just those rotisserie chickens. Now, it could be chicken wings, it could be meatloaf, it could be garlic mashed potatoes. There are some stores that really make a difference with what they offer. And we go even further. Now you can find juice bars where you can get all kinds of healthy recipes that you can simply drink, and they are delicious. There are charcuteries where you can do all kinds of fancy dishes for home or gourmet stations where you could find cheeses or meats that you might not know how to prepare, but the store does it for you. In addition, there are seasonal offers, different kinds of foods we eat at different times of the year, whether it's the pumpkin spices that we see all fall or different fruits and vegetables that come to harvest in the winter or the summer. And it even changes by time of day. Some stores now have breakfast offerings, then lunch offerings, and dinner, just the way we eat. And in many supermarkets now, there are sit-down areas where you can collect your food and sit and eat. Many of them have Wi-Fi for you. Some places even have waiter and waitress service. So the supermarket starts resembling a restaurant. What it all means is that the shopper now has a new source of easy meals to get on the table that you can use to feed your entire family even if you've got some fussy eaters. So what we see is that the supermarket has become a new resource for us. It's full of surprises and delights and solutions to all kinds of cuisine issues. Now we can go to our local store and find a wide array of products and choices to satisfy every meal occasion. Without too much work from us, we can find a way to put an economical, delicious and nutritious meal on the table. It's a way the supermarket has changed dramatically over the past few years. We'll be right back. Millie works in a supermarket. He helps stock the shelves. One day, 
Billy figures out that there are 120,000 different items in a big modern supermarket. When he divided the number of items he usually stocks in a day into the total number of items in the store, he realized that it would take him nearly four years to get the job done. Of course, Billy is only responsible for the store brands, so his job is easier. There are thousands of store brand foods, beverages, snacks, health and beauty, kitchen and household products. Each store brand with quality comparable to the national brands, but less expensive. Billy smiled. Restocking store brands is a lot easier. Fully prepared meals aren't the only place where supermarket foods look dramatically different these days. Time was the only items in the deli were pretty simple. They were the home to cold cuts, cheeses, and maybe some side salads like coleslaw and potato salad. But today, it's all different. Now, there are loads of heat and eat items that you can find in the deli. These are items you take home, you toss in the oven or the microwave, and suddenly you have a meal. And the range of items is amazing. It could be items like chicken parmesan or enchiladas, stuffed vegetables, and there's many more. There are some stores that now sell these products in meal packs. Get this, it may be six or eight dollars. And for that, you get a main dish and two sides, maybe pasta salad, couscous, or it could even be plain old macaroni and cheese. The key is, it's a new way of eating. And even those traditional deli items, well, they become more creatively sold with special selections for parties, tailgating, regional and ethnic festivities. And like in all parts of the supermarket, there's an explosion of choices with new varieties in everything, including those old standbys like cold cuts and cheeses. We see new flavors constantly emerge, new ways for us to even make our old favorite sandwiches. In fact, even the breads that are sold in the deli area, they've changed. Increasingly, you find new varieties and new flavors. Even some of those breads that you pop in the oven, you bake briefly at home, and you get a product to serve that's incredibly fresh and really tasty. The deli keeps shifting just as our meal times are shifting with it. The reality is we are all changing as shoppers. We cook and eat very differently than we did in the past. And as you've seen in this episode, the supermarket is changing. It's now a place to get a lot of fully prepared meals of great quality. It's a place to get meals that we can heat and eat really simply. That's how things are evolving, but that's what we've got to be watching for when we visit our supermarkets. We'll see you soon on another episode of Shopping with Michael.